So when to push and when to back off? One of the oldest questions in the sales world. No worries, we'll answer that question today. You know, one of the most common things that I've heard from salespeople over the years, I don't want to be pushy. In fact, that fear of being pushy is so pervasive that it is actually causing a different problem. Now look, the fact is, no one likes a pushy salesperson. That includes this guy right here. And there are perception problems that need to be faced. Daniel Pink, when he was writing the book, To Sell as Human, he interviewed people on the street. He just did a quick word association. He said, I say sales and you say what? And sure enough, right at the top of the list was pushy. So there is this fear here, and I think too many salespeople over respond to the fear of being seen as that guy, this guy. Okay, so we don't wanna be pushy, and we really don't. Here's the problem. That attempt at not being pushy is triggering a different behavior. And it's about trying to be so dang nice that the customer has to do the work. So here's the scenario. You're in a sales conversation, you've got a good relationship with your customer, you've discovered the need, you've got a, a solution in mind, and then a voice in your head says, this is a really good time to ask for the sale. Now let me ask you, how do you respond to that voice? Well, if your greatest fear is being pushy, you'll probably back off. <laughs> You want so much to be nice that you don't even ask. Question, is this in the best interest of your customer? Answer, no, it is not. Let's look at it this way. This is my physician, Gawain Vaughn. Good guy, very competent doctor. Now, let's set aside for a moment that my doctor bears a resemblance to Doogie Hauser. But the question is this, how much do you want your doctor to push you? Suppose I had a serious medical condition and Dr. Vaughn had a strong opinion by way of treatment. But let's also suppose that Dr. Vaughn was worried about being pushy. I mean, he's a nice guy, right? And his advice might look something like this. Well, you know, listen, uh, in medicine, there are a lot of different ways to be able to handle things, and I don't want to force a decision on you, so I'm just going to lay out several options, and, and then you can decide what you think is best. Let me ask, is that what I want from my physician? No. In fact, he would not be doing his job if he didn't rely on his own professional opinion and guided me towards that which is in my best interest. Listen, I want the professionals that I work with to have an opinion, and I actually want them to sway me in the direction that suits me best. So there are two tests to keep in mind, and these might help you to make the right decision at the crucial moment. First of all, are you looking out for your interest or for the interest of the customer? Now that's an important test because it speaks to motive. If you're looking out for your customer's interest, you may need to push. Doesn't mean you have to be abrasive or obnoxious, but you still want to remain coffee worthy, but you have to have enough of an encouragement for them to do what's best for them. Here's a second test. When was the last time that you actually received a complaint about being too pushy? I would dare say that for most salespeople, they never had this complaint. The conflict exists in our own head more than anywhere else. And this is especially true given the strength of your relationship with the customer. Look, here are two things that are not going to happen when you ask for the sale. Number one, <laughs> your customer is not going to have some violent reaction. And number two, and I don't. <laughs> Oh, I killed it! I killed my sale! You're not going to lose your mind because you asked for the sale. Please, 
Please stop making it difficult for your people to buy. Yes, you should be nice, but asking for the sale is not the opposite of nice. In fact, if you really care about the customer, you're doing a huge service. Lean in and push where you have to. Your customer will benefit. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget our new line of Always Be Coffee Worthy merchandise. It's on sale now at shop.jeffshore.com. We've got a lot of awesome stuff over there, like shirts and sweaters, mugs and posters. It's not too early to begin holiday shopping for the other coffee worthy salespeople in your life. That's shop.jeffshore.com, and the link is also in the description below. Thanks for watching, and remember learn more, turn more.